Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a quick impromptu last minute video. You guys know that, I feel like I say this in every single video so I'm really sorry, but I'm in the process of moving and I have taken a little corner so that I can film videos for you guys. In the meantime, I'm only posting two videos a week this month, but if you've noticed, um, I'm trying to put like a current video on Wednesdays. So I'm trying to at least film once a week current videos that aren't pre-recorded. So that is what we are doing today. Today is a current video, it's not pre-recorded. I had lights on my wall, if you guys saw that last week, but they kept falling off. So I just took them down. I'm gonna put like a frame here instead. <laughs> so today's video is going to be a swatch video on these new bad boys right here. I will go into details right now. Basically, this kind of shocked everyone, but ColourPop came out with, um, cream gel eyeliners, like cream pot gel eyeliners, and matching eyeliner pencils. So each color has a matching pencil. So each gel liner has a matching pencil, like I said, 10 times. And they came out with 24 of them. So those were like the more neutral shades, and these are the colorful ones. 24 new pencil liners and gel pot liners, which was crazy. I had no idea that they were even coming out with this And I wasn't gonna film this video, but it was so so highly requested when I posted this picture yesterday that I had to film it This video is going to be a swatch video um, So I'm gonna show you all the swatches first and then at the end of this video I will give you kind of like a review on what I think about them Actually, it's more like a first impression because today was the first time that I used one of them. I have the gel liner on the top, you know, where gel liner usually goes. And then I have the pencil in like in a different color in my waterline right here. But really quickly, I do want to say that I have no idea when these release. I do want to say that they release soon. I emailed ColourPop asking them like, hey, when do these release? But I haven't gotten an answer yet. So come back to this video in like a week and check the description box. I will have information updated in the description box like pertaining when they will go on sale, like when they will start selling these. I also don't know the price of this. I know. I'm not prepared, but it was so requested to do this video, so I wanted to get it up. I have no idea how much they are going to cost. Um, but definitely I'm sure they will be inexpensive because everything from ColourPop is so cheap So again come back in a week and I will have the price updated down below Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the swatches the big swatch is the pot and the skinny little swatch is the pencil There were two swatches for some reason that got deleted so There is a missing like two clips of footage of different liners So I apologize, but that first one was exit and it was a white and Punch is a really vibrant yellow. Well, this one is called Puppy, and it's a beautiful orange. This one is called Boots, and it's a hot pink. And this is Crybaby. This one is actually really unique. It's like a lavender purple. I really love it. This one is called Piggy Bank, and you do have to do a few layers with this one, but it is still very pigmented. This one might be one of my favorites. It's Bee Sting, an intense blue. This one is such a pretty periwinkle and it is called Prance. I love it. This is a beautiful mint green um, in the shade Zulu. This is like the perfect St. Patty's Day green in the shade Maybe. And this one right here is called Workout, one of my favorites, a really deep forest green. This one is similar, but it's a teal instead of a green, like a deep teal. This is DTLA, more of like a purpley based blue, really pretty. This one is perfect for fall, it's called No Shame, it's like a purple with a little bit of red. And this one in Besto is a really pretty deep burgundy shade. This one is Stomper and it's a light brown. Okay, this one is Overboard, such an amazing metallic sheen. Showtime is one of my favorite ones out of the metallic ones. It's like a copper little penny. This one is Dirty Talk, it's a really intense gold. 
and then this one is an intense silver in the shade Kicker. The one, the other swatch that got deleted was another metallic shade, like a nice bronze. This one is Timber, and it's a really dark, dark gray, and then the classic dark matte black in Swerve. Okay, so as you saw, they're all very, very, very pigmented. The pigmentation is on point with these. But just to give you an overall mini review on the product, let me show you. The one I have on my eyelid right now is this one right here and it's called Workout. If you saw it in the swatches, this one is the like black, blackened forest green. It's a forest green but it's very, very dark which I really like because it looks black but it's not. <laughs> like you can definitely tell next to a black eyeliner that it is a forest, like a dark green. And I have the Workout eyeliner pencil liner like on uh, my tight line on the top so I combined these two and then on my waterline I wanted a like pop of more of a bright green so I used the pencil liner in maybe on my waterline so that is everything I have on my eyes I do have a little bit of um, powder eyeshadow in the crease and a little bit underneath this eyeliner but this is basically just the combination I have on my eyes and mascara now I do think these are very good especially for the price even though I don't know the price I know they're gonna be very affordable but I do have a little bit of a complaint with them you guys know I'm very very honest and even though I work with Colourpop and I love Colourpop to death I got I got to tell you my opinion now this is only my opinion on the green one because I only have used one of them so this is just a first impressions. My opinion can totally change in two weeks or so. The gel, I wanna talk about the gel pots first. They are really good, very pigmented, at least this one, this, very good, very pigmented, but it is a little bit dry. That's the only thing I will say about it. I don't know if it's just this color, but it is a little bit dry on my eyelids. Now, with that being said, I have extremely dry skin. I have extremely dry eyelids. I have to moisturize my eyelids. I didn't today. I didn't put on moisturizer this morning because I'm weird. But I have extremely dry eyelids. Like, you know how some people have really oily eyelids and things crease on them? That rarely happens to me because my skin is so dry. So for me, these are a little bit dry. If you have really oily eyelids, you might not even notice that at all. But on someone with dry eyelids, on a, like, I found it just a little bit dry. It did kind of tug a little bit. But that is such a minor complaint, honestly. I do think they're worth it anyway because they are so pigmented. And maybe the fact that they are a little bit dry means that they'll last longer. Um, I'm going to update you in the description box how it lasted throughout the day because I'm gonna wear this makeup for the entire day and I did my makeup around three hours ago and I mean it's still going strong but it's only been three hours now I don't know how all of them work but this one in workout that is the only little complaint I have but it's very pigmented and I do really like it and I love the color selection I think you should give these a try these shimmery ones like the ones with like a more metallic finish are so so creamy and I have a feeling like oh my god it's just like butter when I put it on my skin now with that being said I'm gonna talk about the pencil liners these are freaking amazing 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 I'm obsessed I do like these more than the gels this is the one that I have on my waterline and I've had it on my waterline for three hours and it hasn't gone anywhere it's still very pigmented it it's now, I'm not somebody that has super run runnery. That's not a word. I'm not someone who has really runny eyes, like very watery eyes. I usually don't have a problem with that, but sometimes eyeliner just doesn't stay on my waterline. Not that it gets watery and like smudges, but it just disappears or it doesn't paint on the waterline. Does that make sense? Like sometimes I'm putting on eyeliner and I feel like nothing is transferring onto my waterline. I don't have that problem with these. They're so pigmented and they go so amazing on the waterline. And my favorite part is that they are retractable. As you can see, they're retractable. I love that. Because I don't need to bother with a sharpener. And at the end of the day, retractable eyeliners aren't as harsh as wooden ones. Sometimes you'd be poking your eye with a wooden eyeliner. You know what I mean? Like, it's happened to me before. 
where I like poke my eye and I, I just hate wooden eyeliners. I love that it's retractable, very creamy, very easy to use, so pigmented, so blendable, so fantastic. I'm obsessed with the freaking these. I love them. So overall, I am very, very, very happy with it. The only gripe I had was that the gel pots are just a hair dry. But again, I've only used one of them. So I feel like I'm jumping to conclusions. But that was just my initial first impression. I think you definitely should check these out. Of course, they don't come in these packaging, like in this packaging when you buy them. I mean, I don't know if they're going to sell them like this, but this is like their PR packaging. Um, ColourPop is really stepping it up, and I think that they're just getting bigger and bigger and better and better. So yeah, that completes this video. I know it was uh, kind of like short and simple. Since, you know, I'm not in my house and I'm not in my beauty room and most of my makeup is packed away, I'm very limited to the videos that I can film. I did take out a lot of like makeup recently so that I can try to film tutorials while I'm here. So yeah, that completes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye.